Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. Well, as the title says, looks like I'm going to be having some more Cameroon Crab Spider Slings available very soon. So I woke up this morning and noticed my Cameroon Crab Spider female laying another sack, which is um, a little bit of a more surprise than the first time. So let's take her a bit of a better uh, closer look. So that fake plant that was in the enclosure I've decided to take that out of the enclosure so we can have a, a bit of a better look. And there we go everybody. That's a, a better uh, look of the second sack that she's decided to build on the side of the enclosure. Not on the cork bark this time. I've taken out the cork bark as well because uh, I can't get my iPhone inside the enclosure otherwise. So yeah, fantastic news. And I've still got some uh, crab spider slings available. I've only got nine left. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep them nine. Um, I was going to keep them until I seen this. But I might sell them. But I'm still only doing them for the pound each. But um, yeah, as you can see, the sack is not as big as the first one. But um, yeah, she's a big girl. Probably stretches out around about the four inch mark. So I'll put the fake plant back, and I'll put the cork bark back, and uh, let's do a, a little update on my uh, wolf spider that's got a sack as well. So everyone, there she is, there's my Miami wolf spider that laid a sack around about three weeks ago now, and as you can see, she's doing perfectly fine, and the, uh, the egg sack is fairly big, it's a little bit bigger than her abdomen. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you do know that I actually had another wolf spider that laid a sack. But I decided to put it into a bigger enclosure. And uh, I forgot that the ventilation holes were fairly big. And uh, all the slings escaped. So this is why I've kept it in its original enclosure that I bought it from when I went to the British Tarantula Show back in May. Uh, the ventilation holes are very, very small in this enclosure. So that's why I haven't decided to move her into a bigger enclosure just yet. And there's been a little bit of a mould in the enclosure. So that's why I've taken out some of the substrate. Um, I didn't really want to disturb her too much. So I've kept her in this original enclosure. So I've been speaking to one of my friends who's an expert in true spiders. He's got more knowledge than I have. And uh, he said it's perfectly fine to give her a feed while she's still got the sack. Um, last time I fed her was around about five or six days ago. So while we're here everybody, I'm gonna get a small dubia roach and uh, let's give her a feed. There we go everybody. As you can see, she's still very, very hungry. So, I like to uh, keep feeding her while she's got the sack. And uh, you can see the abdomen, it's a, lot, it's a little bit smaller than the sack. That's a bit better everybody. I turned the uh, light off on my iPhone and decided to use my flashlight because of that glare off the, uh, off the plastic. And then you can see, there you go, she goes straight for the head. And I didn't actually know you could still feed them while they've got the sack with the true spiders. So yeah, she's tucking into that absolutely perfectly fine. And um, when this sack decides to hatch, I'll definitely do a, uh, do a video for you guys. As I said before, probably in the next week to 10 days. Hopefully this sack will hatch. So I'm going to leave her alone now to enjoy her meal. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, thanks for watching everyone. 